What's up, everybody? Check it out. Helmet. Uh, but more specifically, what I'm making this video about is my GoPro mount. I used to use Acaso cameras, and so I just used a, a, a gripper. I mentioned it in one of my other videos, my tank bag video, actually. And um, it just gripped on. But what I didn't realize is when you buy a GoPro, you need one of these. This is the audio adapter so that you can plug a microphone into it. You don't need it, but if you want to talk on the inside of your helmet, you do. So, how to go about doing that? Well, it wasn't going to work with the gripper mount, so I bought from a company called uh, Chin Mounts this chin mount. And they make them specifically for helmet brands and styles, and so this one was made for the Scorpion R420. And it just has the 3M tape in there, sticky stuff. Mount it right onto your helmet. You're supposed to heat your helmet up. I forgot to do that, so I hope it doesn't fall off. But uh, I've assembled what I think is a pretty minimal setup for doing this. Some people have big things that wrap around and so on, and I didn't really want all of that. So I got the, the chin mount, which I just showed you. Then I bought this stuff called um, Dual Lock. And what's kind of cool about Dual Lock is that, as you can see, it's like the plastic side of um, Velcro, but it's just one piece. This stuff sticks to itself, so you don't have that real fuzzy side, you've just got this, which means it'll be pretty durable in the rain and so on. Um, and I use that to attach the audio adapter to the bottom of the chin mount, and then the cord runs up and inside. What I didn't realize when I bought this uh, uh, GoPro 10 was that you need to replace the side cover if you want to be able to plug this thing in there without just having the door open or removed, which is a little bit ridiculous. Um, but anyway, I found one on Amazon for like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 bucks. I'll put a link down. I'll put links to all this stuff. And that's it. It's really pretty removable. I bought a, a microphone, which was taped up in there and has now come out, but you can see it. So this just folds up in, inside. I've tested this. It works. And um, the whole thing uh, one second, creates a pretty minimal and uh, portable style uh, helmet cam that I think I'll be able to narrate into. So you'll get to hear more of my lovely voice while I'm out on the road, and it won't just be so many long uh, stretches of road with no commentary. Um, one more thing that I'll mention. I really like the fact that on this you can... Uh, change out the battery without having to do anything else. You got to unplug that, but otherwise you just open that up and change out the battery. So there you go. Anyway, um, that's my pretty minimal setup. I added one more piece, which was this little uh, piece that goes from the, the part that comes with the GoPro, that J looking part. And this place just gives it, this piece just gives it a little more flexibility. It came in a pack of like camera accessories that I bought a long time ago. So I have a bunch of different accessories. Uh, they also give you, that so that you can anchor your camera on there uh, and probably stick that onto the side of your helmet somewhere. I'm not sure I'm going to do that because there's already enough stuff, you know, sticking on my helmet between the communication device, the camera. I got another mount up here. I think I'm good. All right. Thanks for checking it out. Hopefully that helps somebody because I know that I spend a lot of time researching and trying to figure out how to make this all work. Once you buy a GoPro, if you want to talk inside, you need to buy a microphone, you need to buy a adapter, and uh, you also are going to have to replace the side cover. Just FYI, those are good things to know. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you later. Peace.